I'm going to give a fairly short talk um, about what's actually happening before you actually get to the point where you start mucking around with templates. Uh, one of the reasons I'm actually talking about this is that when I've spoken to lots of developers who actually are either new to WordPress or have been working with WordPress for maybe, say, a year or two, um, they actually, they're quite comfortable with play, playing around with pages and templates and things like that. But the actual, they're, they're still a little bit un unclear about well, how, to, how WordPress actually does get there. And it's very much kind of a little bit like Voodoo that, that you don't really, really want to go anywhere near. Um, I've been working with WordPress for about three or four years now. And this is going to be a fairly quick talk, just actually talking about very, 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 a basic what about happens between those two things. Um, you can think about it in about literally five steps. This is a massive oversimplification. But uh, for developers, it should actually help provide some kind of guide here. So um, as you can see, you can think of it these steps here. Um, the first step you can think of it, oh, as I was mentioning here, so uh, to actually um, uh, accompany these, these, these little, little icons, uh, we've got a case where WordPress, when you first actually hit, go to say index.php, you'll basically be going to the bootstrapping phase. Then you'll be actually registering a lot of plugins. Then you'll actually talk about, uh, th then WordPress actually does its initial query, like Keith mentioned about the actual uh, qu qu query part in the loop. Um, then actually, you, I'm going to talk about briefly about how templates, um, how we actually choose a template to actually to actually display in the page. And then I'm not going to go, and go talk about the loop because Keith's actually gone into in, into plenty of detail on that. So first of all, the actual bootstrapping, the loading part. So um, if you're actually going to be looking at the source code in WordPress, and I really suggest you need to actually get familiar with it, these are the files you actually want to look at. Uh, these ones here will pretty much, if you're familiar with these, uh, the rest of WordPress becomes a lot, a lot simpler, and makes a lot more sense. So your first, first one you'll see is index.php. This is literally all you see inside it. So you've basically got very, very little other than just a link to requiring the actual blog header here. Can I just mention, uh, highlight that this is in the, the root of the WordPress? Oh yes, sorry. Because I, I post a lot of um, snippets on my blog, like stick this in functions PHP, and some people have put it into the cores functions PHP ah. and mixed it up the other way around. So uh, this is not the themes. Yes, yet, this is so. actually worth, yeah, this, this is all going to be talking about um, the, uh, the actual source of WordPress itself, rather than making any kind of custom themes yourself. So I'm literally going to be giving you a tour of, kind of an abridged tour of what WordPress is doing inside, and how and, and some of the core files that WordPress is actually using. You probably won't ever need to actually edit these files yourself, but if you are aware of what's actually happening, it makes it much much easier when you're building your own plugins because you know what actually is happening when WordPress hits this page or what kind of hooks will be available to you. So. When you actually do go, when you first send a request to WordPress, you'll initially be, get, get sent to here, and very, very little is happening apart from requiring this other, this other file here, blog header. Now, if we go through here, this is going to be relatively, this is pretty much it to be honest. I've, I've, t I've edited, edited out some of the code just for clarity, but you're literally looking at say three functions here: load, some a mysterious WP thing here, and then the template loader. So I'm just actually going to take us into WP load now to see what's inside here. Now, if you um, go through the five minute install, you might be familiar with the whole WP config file. So it's something that a lot of us actually, you might have to make a few tweaks with, but you're not quite sure what out, what that's actually for. Um, this is actually how WordPress reads it and where it actually gets it from. So you've gone from your index to the blog header to read this file here. And if it can't find it, it basically does it, it basically complains and tells you, hey, I need this, otherwise I'm useless to you. All right, so imagine that's pretty much all we need to be going for there. A little bit further down, we'll actually, and if we actually look at WP Config now, you'll see. Yeah, so this is the one. I'm, this is the, this is the, the important file here. Now, if you go to WP Config, you'll see. So the, this should be somewhat familiar to some of you if you are actually used to playing around with WordPress. You tell it which database to speak to, your username, and the password. And crucially, the line at the bottom here, WP Settings. This is the line that I didn't actually. I, I ignored for ages. And uh, I kind of wish I looked at it earlier because this is pretty much like the key to understanding how WordPress goes from a couple of scripts to this huge, pla this huge platform with all this functionality inside it. And uh, I'm just actually going to take you into there now. So literally, this is if there's one, if there's one takeaway from, from from this talk, get to know this file, and WordPress makes a lot more sense. So inside it, you actually see that this is the bootstrapping part. It actually loads in 
lots and lots and lots of different parts of WordPress here. So query will actually t um, help you. Query deals with uh, the actual speaking to a database here. Class WP and Class WP error essentially provide some kind of packaging so that it's easier to actually know where file where various classes are inside, and just generally makes the code a bit easier to actually understand. Plugin, you can probably guess what plugin is related to. Uh, functions again has a few basic functions inside here, and so on. There's a very very long list. I'm just showing you a very very kind of abridged version here. So this you should start getting an idea of what's hatch, how WordPress is going from a small thing to lots and lots and lots of functionality here. All right. So I've shown the first the part at the top. If you look further down this file as well, you'll actually see some some parts some some parts here. So you'll see the initial things where it's saying create initial taxonomies. Uh, this is uh, where WordPress. This is how WordPress works at things like uh, uh, categories. So uh, inside here, you'll actually have your initial uh, initial categories thing when you're categorizing blog posts. This is where tags are as well. And if you look at the post types, this is actually where this ha this is how WordPress knows to use, say for example, blog posts and pages. If you do any more advanced work with WordPress, you can actually create custom post types. But yeah, this is where the core ones are created. So it's essentially using the same the, the same bits of code that you would be using if you were doing any custom work yourself. Um, also, loading the active plugins. I, this is well a bit of a, a, a simplification here, but you can kind of guess. So it's going to get, get all the plugins that we currently have and iterate through them and include ones. Essentially, loads that the loads that code in, 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 in into WordPress here. Then further down, we've got these strange do action things here. Um, Keith mentioned this idea of, and mentioned something about hooks earlier on, and I'm just going to briefly talk about plugins next. But you'll see that they, we've got a series of these things called do actions here. So, uh, so do action plugins loaded, setup theme after setup theme, the WP loaded. The main thing to the key takeaway point here is that the you can think of these as think of them as kind of uh, checkpoints that code will get to that other code can listen for and actually respond when it reaches that checkpoint. If you can kind of keep keep that as your mental model, then you know, it will help you understand plugins quite a bit better. Which takes me to plugins. So again, this is um, a gross oversimplification, but it should give you a, a little bit of an idea of how plugins actually do talk to the rest of WordPress. So I mentioned things like plugins and hooks. So here, here are a couple of um, hooks and actions and, and filters here. So we, we, we're talking about actually things like um, the do action thing and adding an action here. So I mentioned about actions as almost like checkpoints. And uh, you can think of plugins as they're, they're, they're actually bits of code that listen for WordPress to get to a point and then do something for it. So you can think of these uh, checkpoints as, you could, well, WordPress calls them hooks internally. And then function here is essentially do something that's uh, when it gets to that point here. Uh, you can think of filters as very, very similar to actions, except that they you, you generally pass something into them and they'll actually uh, affect it. So you might use a filter for formatting uh, to maybe change, uh, to filter out some swear words or to actually change, make sure that WordPress is, is spelt with a capital P and a capital, capital W. You'll find this in your own code. If you try to type WordPress wrong, it will basically autocorrect you. This is one thing that the, the author got so pissed off about that he actually put it to actually start filtering all the code everywhere. And uh, I'm now going to show you an example of uh, this in, in action with um, the, basically the, the standard code. So let's say this is me looking at my own site. All right? I'm going to switch on um, Hello Dolly. This is the standard plugin. Uh, it's the default one that you get into inside every single WordPress install. And here is like a glimpse of the code here. So we've got a function called Hello Dolly. Then we've got this add action with admin notices, and it's calling the function there. And then we can see inside this function, all we're actually doing is we're basically spitting out a bit of thing. Uh, we're first of all guessing some song lyrics, and then we're echoing this out. So putting it, uh, we're echoing that text for it to appear on the page. And then if we actually, if I switch that plugin on and then reload that page, you'll see a a, a lyric appearing on the page. So what's actually happened there? That WordPress has reached that checkpoint. It's reached that kind of hook called uh, called admin notices, and it's fired that thing called Hello Dolly. And that's how the plugin is actually hooked into WordPress to actually make that con that, that content appear on the page. And that's pretty much how plugins tend to work. Really, you write a little bit of code there, and then word when WordPress gets to that, it will basically spit it out onto the page for you. So I've covered um, the bootstrapping process, and I've covered plugins. I'm also going to talk briefly about the database now. 
Um, I'm going to be mercifully, mercifully short on this, largely because I tried to look into this and tried to summarise it for a 15 minute talk. Mm. Nah, <laughs> it's not going to happen. So um, what I'm going to say is um, just to briefly explain what WordPress actually does and where to look if you are interested in actually looking into the code yourself as a developer. So the first thing, the first thing we're actually doing here is we're essentially taking a request URL like so go to my site, I want to look at a particular category, and then it's going to turn it into a query like Keith mentioned before. So this is a query that will actually then be passed to the loop uh, la la later on. So you can see how we've got the category here, and you can see that it's basically mapping in a similar fashion to that. Now I'll show you which part of the code is actually doing that work. So there's a class called WPPHP here, and uh, you'll, you'll, find, you'll see that Sorry, I've missed a slide out here, actually. Boy, do I feel silly now. Okay, so there's um, this is actually going to relate back to when we were looking at uh, the initial part where I was actually including the loading, and then we're looking at that cryptic WP thing, and then going back to the template loader. This is essentially, WP will actually, is essentially, that WP is essentially a wrapper for this class here. So when you call WP, you're actually calling this function inside here. Now, what we actually really care about for the purposes of turning a URL, a request for a particular category into a database query, are these two sections here. So there's a function called pass request that'll actually take your query args, which are essentially the bit after your your, your the, the site name, and it'll actually do a bit of uh, it'll basically pass that bit of jiggery poker to turn it into a category equals something, and then then pass that to further down to query posts to actually hit the database and say, hey, show me all the posts that actually have uh, a, a category of something onto here. And that's pretty much it. If you do actually want to actually, if you do want to look at how what, what WordPress, WordPress is, is doing, look at this look at this class here and it'll actually make things quite a bit clearer. So I've explained about how plugins are actually working. I've explained about how the database is actually, how a request to a certain URL actually hits the database. I'm now going to very, very quickly touch on the code that provides the, the actual template hierarchy stuff that uh, Keith alluded to before. Um, this is pretty much, sorry, this is going back to the, the code I mentioned before. This is, this is the code that we, this is the file that you want to actually look at to see what's happening. Uh, template-loader.php. Um, it literally looks like this. And you can kind of see how that might relate to the flowchart. If this, if this, if this. There's a bit more to it, but that's the major, that, that, that's the, the, the larger part of it. You, there are some, <coughs> there, are, there are a few very, very complex parts of it, but if you understand this, that hopefully should give a, a rough idea of how that might map to the template hierarchy thing. I can see a few smirks from a few developers looking around here with all the if, if, ifs and else's. Uh, WordPress is done by volunteers. Uh, and that's the, best, that's the best thing to say about it. Um, WordPress is great on the outside. But when you're looking on the inside, it's not quite as pretty on the inside as it is on the outside in many cases. But it's beautiful. It's, yeah, but we, yeah. <laughs> but it's it's still a lot of fun. And that basically takes you that gives you a rough idea of taking you to the loop. Um, so just to summarise briefly, we've um, we've got a template <coughs> chosen with template loader. We've got an idea of how the query is actually arriving on or in, in the thing, and uh, then we actually that, then whatever's handed there actually gets piped, piped through to the loop. Um, I don't need to talk about the loop because Keith did a spectacular job. Um, guys, if you actually manage to actually keep up with me and and me, me speaking a million miles a million words a minute at half past eight or quarter to nine on a Thursday, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. <laughs> so thank you very much for actually sitting through this. I'm happy to actually talk a geek out about this uh, if uh, with, with any developers here. And if you are interested in actually working, uh, basically doing any kind of spelunking through the code with WordPress, please do talk to me. I'm looking for people to join the team here to actually do cool things with WordPress. So that's pretty much me, guys. Thank you very much for sitting through this. And, uh, <laughs> So uh, I think we're good to go to the pub now, actually, guys. So uh, thank you very much for coming along. Uh, the pub that we're probably going to go to is the place called it's a place called Yanka Tap. It's a Sam Smith pub. It's quite cheap. They do quite a few nice beers, actually. Uh, so um, I, the best thing I can say is thank you very just thank you very much for coming along. Please do come to the next one. And uh, yeah, please be vocal on the actual meetup group and tell other people about it because we're really keen to actually get something going here. And uh, 
Yeah, thank you. It's thank pretty you. impressive. It's pretty cool to actually see this, this many people coming here. Can I yes. ask a question just Please, about, because yeah. I, I didn't realize the, um, turn the URLs into WP Curie. I, I've noticed when I would misformat, like, categories or things, it would still come up to the right location. Like, I might have a page that I've moved somewhere else. Is that because it's going through the query in the database and going, oh, I don't really care about what category, whatever. I'm just finding things that kind of relate to it, and then I'll pull that page up? Or is there something else that's going on there? Um, I think that should be very pro I can't tell you and pretend that I. To me, it's that. magic. I, you know, I'm it's, like, yeah, it's. <laughs> that's it's like, how, 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 how does it know? I didn't change in the last version because uh, I did a plugin that may allow you to create a view of pages. So, pages that doesn't exist anymore are just a function. Yeah. And to do that, basically, I have to go inside the code that did that. And if, if that didn't change, basically, it tries to execute all the functions. Basically, all the functions uh, um, that we've seen before is category, is false, is basically goes through all of them, mm -hmm. uh, a kind of similar function that just checks the name. And if they fail all, then it goes into four zero four page. Mm -hmm. But uh, to, so to do the, that uh, trick, basically, it, it, there, there are some. Um, I don't know if it's regex or something like that. I'll try to catch the name and check if it exists for each one of them. Mm -hmm. there, there is, however, a function that it does it exactly that. Okay. Hmm. So, yeah, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask about um, future yes. meetings? Yes. Um, Do you have, you have any plan or? We've got a date. Yeah. Um, that's it. So we're very, like, this is a really new meetup. Um, this is only the third time we've done it, and this is the first time we've done anything like this. Um, so I'm really open to suggestions um, where you want to see this go, uh, what kind of topics you want to see covered, um, locations, although I'm really happy <coughs> with how this went tonight. I haven't spoken to Chris about hosting future ones here, uh, but this, this is really good for me. Because um, I live walking across the bridge, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm happy to go anywhere really. So yeah, if anyone has any feedback or any suggestions, uh, please please do let me know. Uh, but there is a date for the next one. Um, I can't remember what it is. It's on. It's, it's on the website. Yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe we'll shift it about as well. It doesn't have to be the same every every month either. So. Well, this is the first time we've done. Uh, well, this is the first time we I say we, but uh, <coughs> the company has uh, done uh, like hosted this space here, and uh, we weren't sure how many people would turn up or whether it would each actually work actually. But apart from it being a little bit hot in here, it seems to. I mean, we we, we seem to be okay capacity actually. Yeah. So uh, it's it seems to have worked out all right so far. I think that. If, to be honest, it, it kind of works. It, it, we'll see how things go. I think yeah. I, I, I think we're fairly happy with it so far. It's really nice to actually well, see this and actually get um, or, well meet, meet meet so many people actually. So I worry about saying yeah every every single time every month right here guys, but um, it feels fairly good. I reckon yeah. that we could probably talk them into doing it again. Absolutely. Until we have 500 people signing up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's. We have, um, there's a few people who well, I've been speaking to, uh, well actually there's a couple of other places who have actually offered. So we've got um, someone, in the me someone in the actual uh, meetup, uh, the um, London, London WordPress meetup group actually, is one of the core committees on BuddyPress. And uh, he works at the Telegraph and he actually offered, he said he's going to try and speak to them to see if they can provide some space. Uh, and uh, there's another place in Clerkenwell called Skills Matter, they're a training centre. And uh, they got much, much bigger space, and they they were quite interested in actually speaking to us as well. So the Guardian might be an <coughs> the Guardian might be an option. It's true actually, we could speak to the Guardian as well. They're yeah. generally super friendly to yeah. any event like this because they realise generally they're it's a really good way to meet they, people. They, 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 they host they host I think yeah. it's a weekly um, developer drop in. Yeah. So cool. just around the corner from me, so I'm fine with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think after that, I mean, uh, um, I think we've, I'm not sure if everyone remembers everyone's names, but I reckon we could probably head to the pub after this. I'm probably just going to lock up, but um, yep. good. does anyone know how to get to the tap? Oh, no. Google. No. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's literally walk down the corner and then just head in that direction. 
Well, you can just wait a couple of minutes, I'll just lock up here and then...